Everest. Right. It's more than just a mountain, you know, like it's this massive frozen mystery up there. Yeah, absolutely. A giant time capsule just buried under ice and snow. Right. And every so often it kind of spits out a piece of the past. Like Irvine, as in Mallory and Irvine from like the 1924 expedition. The one and only vanished a century ago and now his boot shows up. Talk about a blast from the past. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's unbelievable. And I mean, what are the odds? A hundred years. This boot was up there on Everest that whole time. what we're diving into today all because a National Geographic documentary crew they were filming up on the central Rongbuk glacier oh wow and bam there it was I mean talk about a find it really makes you think about all the human stories you know just frozen in time up there on Everest no kidding so we've got to ask what does this mean for the mystery of Mallory and Irvine's climb were they actually the first to summit Everest because for decades that's been one of mountaineering's biggest unsolved mysteries totally and this discovery, I mean, he could hold some huge clues. Okay, so let's break it down. This boot, it's crazy old, right? It's more than just some boot you'd find in a shop today. Right, exactly. This is like holding a piece of history. You can practically picture Irvine lacing it up, you know, a hundred years ago, getting ready for that climb. It's incredible. And its condition, it might actually tell us something about the climb itself. Like, was there damage consistent with a fall? Any other little clues that could shed light on what happened to Irvine? Right, right. And I heard they found something inside the boot, too. Yeah, they found a sock. And get this, it still had the label on it, ACI Irvine. Yeah. Stitched right there. Oh, wow. That just gave me chills. Like, this wasn't just some nameless explorer, you know? This was a person with a family. It's almost like we can connect with what he might have been going through up there. Absolutely. And think about Irvine's family, right? They've lived with this mystery for a century, and now they have this tangible link back to him. You mentioned this could change how we see Mallory and Irvine's climb. Didn't they find Mallory's body years ago? Yeah, back in 99, they found his body, and it seemed pretty clear he'd fallen. There were signs he was hanging from the rope at some point, which would make sense because, you know, they were roped together. Does it make it more likely they fell together? Or is there something else going on? It's like a true mountain mystery. Speaking of mysteries, huh? The documentary folks, they're being kind of secretive about where exactly they found the boot. Any idea why the hush-hush? Yeah, it's pretty standard in these situations. <laughs> these artifacts, they're historically important, sure, but they can also be worth a lot of money. And that attracts people who want to loot these sites, unfortunately. So by keeping the location secret, it helps make sure that whatever else is up there is preserved for, you know, scientists and historians. Makes sense. So the big question, the one everyone's wondering, does this tell us whether Mallory and Irvine actually summited Everest before their fall? Right. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. A hundred years people have been debating this. Yeah. But it seems like Everest, it likes to hold on to its secrets. It took decades to find Mallory. Now, a century later, Irvine's boot pops up. It just goes to show we may never have all the answers. It's humbling, really. It makes you think, what else is up there? Just frozen in time, waiting to be discovered. Exactly, and that's what I makes mean, it so fascinating, right? Totally. Maybe this find will unlock even more of the puzzle. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure, Everest will always have that allure of the unknown. People are gonna be captivated by its mysteries for years to come. Absolutely, there's just something about it. Well, on that note, let's maybe hold off on planning our own Everest expeditions for now. Maybe just stick to the documentaries for now. Yeah. 